Good evening. Today we'll be doing a review on the Lamy Studio. Now, um, I've owned this pin for quite a while now. I uh, don't have the box for it. Um, I'm grown to love this pin. Um, I actually bought this pin after someone mentioned that they enjoyed using this pin more than uh, the Lamy 2000. And, um, yeah, I was uh, intrigued and so I bought this pen and I'm glad I did because uh, I actually enjoy, I too enjoy writing with this pen way more than the Lamy 2000. Well, I'll do another review at some point in time about why I like this pen more than the Lamy 2000. So anyway, let's uh, dive uh, right uh, into it now. As normal, um, I'll read the blurb about this pen and then we'll talk facts before we talk uh, opinions. Okay, um, let me just get to the right page. Oh, I should have been better prepared. Um, it's been quite a long day. And I thought um, nothing better than sitting down and doing a review of the pen to um, yeah, end the day. So anyway, let's get right into it. So Lamy Studio Fountain Pen Brush Steel. So this is the brush steeled, uh, steel version. You can buy a palladium version of this. Palladium version cost I think about $250. Um, this cost about $80. Um, the difference between the palladium version and this one is um, yeah, the palladium version. Of course the pen is made out of palladium and uh, the nib is a gold striped gold nib and um, yeah I thought about getting a palladium version but um, the reason why the palladium version did not appeal to me all that much is the grip section um, I like a nice like you know rubbery material in my opinion is nicer it's a grip section compared to palladium version which is metal but yeah that's a matter of opinion so anyway let's uh, get into it so Lamy Studio fountain pen brush steel I'm reading the customer blurb um, Lamy Studio fountain pen in brush steel is a beautifully finished all metal design it is not all metal there is some rubber and plastic in it so uh, contemporary take on the classic cigar shaped barrel design high quality finish and polished chrome fittings. A distinctive propeller shaped clip is striking and practical. Okay, I'd agree with that. Easily replaceable polished steel nib in a range of nib sizes. Yeah, completely agree with that. Um, it's really interesting what um, also Lamy has something else Lamy has to say about this. The Lamy Studio is a curvaceous design with a chunky barrel and distinctive propeller shaped pocket clip. High gloss chrome metal fittings and multi layered lacquered barrel finish. Oh, multi lacquered, um, they also make this in yeah, various colors. Um, blue is apparently very popular. Um, yeah, but yeah, I got the metal version. Nice. So, anyway, let's talk um, facts. Yeah, always facts before opinion. So, I weighed this with my handy dandy scale, which weighs things to 0.1 of a gram so total inked up got it inked up it's got a cartridge in it that is complete almost completely full of uh, ink 27.6 grams the cap on its own i found it to be 9.4 grams the body that is inked 18.2 grams in terms of length dimensions um, again i used my handy dandy veneer caliper measures things to 0 0.01 of a millimeter so the total pin closed that is like this it um, its length was 139.94 millimeters posted 155.86 millimeters and unposted that is all the way from there to there was a hundred and twenty eight point seven seven millimeters in my notes i wrote a hundred and twenty eight point seven seven grams yeah, it's been a long day it's about 
Yeah, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is late for me. So anyway, so let's talk about opinions now. Um, yeah, I must say I actually do enjoy writing with this pen way more than uh, the Lamy 2000. Um, anyway, putting that aside, why do I enjoy writing with this pen so much? Um, actually, before I start talking about that, maybe we'll do a close-up now. Um, yeah, let's get into the close-up. Oh. Webcam settings, okay, so I'll go out of focus for a while. There. Okay, so let's get a nice close-up of this pen now. Yep, there you can see what they call nice propeller shaped. Um, that is what you get now. Um, again, I, one thing I've noticed about Lamy pens are uh, you perhaps can see it right there. They always have Germany written um, on the inside of the clip. And you've got a small Lamy written there. Um, the clip is polished steel. The body is um, yeah, brushed uh, stainless steel. There's nothing there. The grip section is um, sort of a rubbery sort of material. You've got the standard Lamy nib. I've got currently an extra fine nib or fine nib on this. Um, then you you can open it up like that, and um, I've got it with a converter. Oh, that's quite interesting. Uh, notice that this converter, the tip is uh, black in color. Um, ink on my fingers. Um, like most of the other nibs uh, which I have, uh, let me just open up. Uh, Lamy. See, look at that, that's red. So, Lamy do make converters uh, in different colors, which is uh, yeah, something I did not know. So, let's get back into focus. So, uh, yeah, there was a close up of the pin. Now, yeah, interesting thing uh, things about this pin. So um, I was actually going to say now I'm going to talk about what do, what I like and not like about this pin. To plagiarize other people. Anyway, um, one uh, like you've watched all my other videos and you probably know I do not like pins. Uh, not that I don't like pins but I prefer my clips to be made of solid metal as you've seen this is not solid metal it's um, metal that's been rolled into shape would have been nicer if it was solid metal like Lamy do make solid metal clips like um, the Lamy 2000 and um, what else Lamy Ascent in yeah. I'm not sure if they make other solid clips, but yeah, I uh, would have preferred if the clip was solid. Now, I will again I'll try to focus this. Um, now, I'm not sure if you can see what one design for in this is um, because the clip rests on the metal body it actually leaves a mark across there so yeah, it's not too much of a problem but um, it's something you notice after a period of time um, also when the pin the pin doesn't close like you know this is close position there is still a little bit of give there so it's um, Again, it would be nicer if it was screw-on type. If it was screw-on type, you wouldn't have uh, that much movement there. So, yeah, those are some nitpicks, I guess. Um, now, in terms of the way this pin um, writes, um, it writes like um, Lamy Studio, Lamy All-Star, Lamy... Um, Nix, I think there's a Lamy Nix, yep, Lamy Nix, 
so they all share the same nib and yeah, they write exactly the same way um, I really enjoy the way this uh, pin writes um, mainly because of the extra weight like uh, one reason why you'd buy the Lamy Studio as opposed to the Lamy All Star the Lamy Safari is you might actually like you know, find this a little bit uh, light whereas this is a more heavier pin and yeah, substantial feel to it it's a little bit more comfortable also like you know these pins uh, the Lamy All Star and the Lamy Lamy Nix um, they feel yeah they don't look very professional put it that way whereas this look i mean this will look nice in a business shoe pocket yeah so that's one reason why you buy this pin really enjoy using this pin um yeah so we'll do a writing sample and uh, we'll go from there thanks for watching bye <laughs>